We know Jesus was 100% man. Um, it's documented that he was born, that he actually lived on this earth, and he died. So we know that he was a man. But was he also 100% God? Let's talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, over in uh, John 1, 1 through 3, it tells us that Jesus existed from the beginning, from the beginning of time. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through, through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. Jesus was there from the beginning. And why do we know that? Because he was called the Word. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. This tells us in John 1.14. So his name was the Word. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay, so Jesus was human, but then he was also from God. And he was God in the flesh that came down to this earth to die for our sins so that we can have communion with the Father. So he's a, he was 100% God, too. Over in John 8.58, it says very... Truly, I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham was born, I am. Another name of God. There's several names for Jesus. And it was I am. There was I am the word. Uh, he was the light. Um, he was the good shepherd. Uh, these are all names. But it says right there, the names of God says right there that he was at the very beginning. John 10, 30. I am and the Father are one. He says it right there. I and the Father are one. So yes, Jesus is 100% man and 100% God. But why did he come here? He came to give us the way to heaven. He came to give us communion with the Father that we lost in the Garden of Eden when Adam sinned. It says over in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I think it's important to know that no other religious leaders have ever in history have made this claim and have been able to make this claim. And according to Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, the Bible tells us, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this not from our, yourselves, it is the gift from God, not by good works, so that no one can boast. It's truly a gift from God. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Acts 4, 12. Jesus, 100% man, 100% God, came here to die for you and I for our sins so that we can have communion with the Father and have a life eternity with him forever. God bless you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.